Hi guys, we're back from another grocery haul. This time we went to a Filipino grocery store in our area and we grabbed a few items. So to start with, I got three packs of whole saba. These are priced at $4.50 each. So it's kind of pricey. Anyways, I'm gonna use one pack for ginatang bilo-bilo. It's a Filipino dessert with glutinous rice flour and some taro. And of course, our whole saba. Okay, the next pack of whole saba I'm gonna make into turon. Now, for the benefit of people who doesn't know turon, it's a Filipino dessert that's made with jackfruit and whole saba and we wrap it in spring roll wrapper. And the last whole saba pack I'm gonna make into another Filipino dessert. It's called maruya. Now, maruya, for everybody who doesn't know it, is also a Filipino dessert wherein you mash your whole saba, you add some sugar, some flour, and then you fry it in oil. Okay, so on to the next item. I got some spring roll wrapper. This is what I'm gonna use for my turon, and this cost um, $3.75. Also, I got two cans of banana blossom. The first one, I'm gonna make kare kare. It's a Filipino dish with peanut sauce. And the next one, I'm gonna make into coconut uh, banana blossom leaf. By the way, the price of this per can is $4.25. The next on the list are my coconut milk. So these are priced at $2.95 each. Also, I have crispy garlic chips. This is so good with aroscaldo. We top it with our aroscaldo. And these are priced at $4.75. These are expensive. I know if you buy it in the Philippines, it's way cheap. Okay, so on to our snacks. I got two packs of growers. The first one is the garlic flavored peanuts which are priced at two dollars and seventy five and if you were to ask me guys it's a little expensive anyways the next one is the salted cashew nuts and they're priced at four dollars and seventy five so next are the nagaraya cracker nuts they're garlic and flavor and this is also a popular brand in the philippines these are priced at two dollars and last but not least for our snacks we have some spanish bread and we got this for six dollars we also went to our local farmers market and we've got a few items so first are this jumbo mangoes they're priced at two dollars each so four dollars all together so another item from our farmers market are this two packs of sesame bagels these are montreal style which means they're boiled in water with honey and they're chewy and they're really good and they're priced at four dollars each so this is worth your money for me we do this with um, cream cheese and smoked salmon for breakfast and it's perfect and last but not least oh well i have one more item here these are tabor corns and they're heavy they're six pieces for five dollars and these are sweet Really sweet, guys. And last but not least, finally, are my dates and um, energy bars. Or energy balls. They're made with dates and cashew nuts and some peanut butter. So there you go, guys. By the way, the price for, the total price for my grocery from the Filipino store was uh, $52.61. All together, Ang price ng ating grocery or mini haul from the farmer's market is $22. Okay, so thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed our grocery haul.